Hey, what's up TCM? Today we are going to work on a flyaway or depending on like where you're from, it's like a, like a bar gainer or a swing gainer because you're literally swinging on a bar. Easy enough, but I know them as flyaways. So today we're going to be working on a flyaway wearing the new TCM hoodie. Boom, super sick. A couple of things with the flyway. Make sure you know how to do a backflip, but it's not required. It does help. It doesn't have to be necessarily like a standing backflip, but if you can do it into a pool or into a trampoline or onto a trampoline rather, all of that will help and go a long way because the mechanics of doing the backflip is what you need to know, not necessarily how to do the backflip. So I hope that makes sense. A couple of the things that you're gonna to need to know is re-gripping and starting up on momentum or being able to just get momentum on a, on a bar. All right, so we're gonna be going over all of the common mistakes and how to fix them, as well as a couple of drills that you could possibly do to work on your flyaways. And if you need help with the flyaway, hopefully this tutorial will help. So make sure you stick around to the end of the tutorial so you can get all of the information you need and fix your flyaway. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment something down below. It really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget, we are trying to reach 250 subs by the end of the year. We are currently at the time of filming at 215. So we're really close. I thank you guys so much for all of the support and love, and it means a lot, and I hope these are, are helping you guys. So, thank you. Usually, you would want a bar that's a bit higher than the one that I have here. Ideally, one that's not head height, but one that you can hang on without your feet touching the floor. So I'm gonna to be touching on some topics here that I won't necessarily be able to demonstrate because of the height of my bar. And the other thing with this, bars don't really exist outdoors. <laughs> So hopefully you guys can find a safe place to practice this. I learned my flyaways indoors with pads because that was what was readily available for me at the time. But let's, let's get some, some drills done for you guys and hopefully you guys can take this outside someday. So first things first, when we are swinging, we want to make sure that we can re-grip the bar. So, and obviously that the bar is not slick or slippery. So that would also be nice. Pro tip, if you guys want your hat to stay on while you flip, you put it as tight as you would normally put it and then you put it a little bit tighter. So when we are starting our swings, however you want to start your swings is up to you. I do just a basic startup. If you want to do it from a cast, you can do it from a cast. I'm not going to do it from a cast off of this bar because it's really low and, uh, and I don't like to do it off of a, a low bar like this. I want to make sure I can get my full swing. So I'm not going to do it from a cast. I'm just going to do this from a startup. But to start, here's what the flyway looks like. Easy enough. So uh, the way that you would do your flyaway is on the back end, you want to hollow out as you're tipping through the bottom, you start to arch before you reach this pole. And then you want to re-hollow as you tap through the bottom, driving your feet to the floor. It's also why I don't like having a bar so low to the ground. So once you start to drive your feet to the floor, they start to come up and you want to level out, release the bar and then start to do your tuck. Now, a very key thing that, that has to happen here is that you have to let go of the bar first and then start your flip. If you don't, I think I have a video that I could send Rudy, but if you don't, this is what's gonna happen. So, that's what's gonna happen if you don't let go of the bar. Now the flip happens a lot faster with your flyaway than it does with an actual backflip. So just be aware of that. You don't have to hold it very long. It's just kind of like a tap and release more so than a tuck and grab and hold. It happens so much faster because half of your flip is already done by the time you've let go of the bar if you've done the flyaway correctly. And then after that, you spot the floor, reach your feet to the ground and absorb your landing. Tutorial done, nice. Some common mistakes, people will arch on the back end of their swing. So as they come through here, this happens on their back end, something like this here, and then they arch all the way through like that. Don't do those. Another common mistake people will do is they actually just drive their knees up instead of their toes and staying hollow through. So that's two common mistakes. The third common mistake 
is that they actually start to tuck before they release the bar. And this is very dangerous for a couple of reasons. One, your shins could drive to the bar and that hurts a lot as you may have seen earlier. Two, if you start to do double flyaways, your head can actually hit the bar because you go towards the bar instead of away from it. That's why they call it like a swing gainer because you're swinging and doing a gainer or that's why they call it a flyaway because you're flying away from the bar. So try not to flip toward the bar. It's gonna be really dangerous for you guys in the long run. Another common mistake is closing your shoulders before you start to do your flip and release. This causes the same thing to happen, like you'll go towards the bar. So make sure you stay open shoulders, pulling the, this is actually gonna sound a little weird, but you wanna actually pull the bar behind you as you do the flip to help release away from the bar. This is also really good for doubles and setting in your double flyaways. And one last thing, just to help you swing a little bit more aesthetically, keep your feet together when you start to swing. We don't wanna have our feet like separated apart or like split like this. There are people who will split their flyaways like this when they start to do flyaway pulls. And that is the most adorable puppy ever. So yeah, there are like people who will like swing like this and it just, it doesn't, the mechanics don't work as well. Personally, it just doesn't look as good. If you like the way it looks, you can swing however you want. Just don't peel off the bar. And then make sure you regrip on the back end. So what I mean by regrip is literally what it sounds like is to re-grab the bar when you're swinging through the back here, because as you go forward, your fingers will start to peel. And then on the back end, you want to make sure you re-grab the bar so you don't fly off the bar at a time that you're not ready for, because that's not fun. Also, if you guys are wondering why I'm blowing in my hands, it's to create heat in my hands so I can create friction on the bar so I don't slip because I don't have chalk. If you haven't tried it, try it. It's a game changer. It's all right. That was solid. Yeah, that was good. And the dog gave me. <laughs> Just to recap, you want to hollow on the back, arch before you go through the very bottom, and then re-hollow again, driving your feet to the floor and up. You want to make sure you're flat before you release, and you can see your, bar, your feet in front of you. You want to keep your shoulders open, and as soon as you start to close, that's when you've messed up. So keep your shoulders open, release the bar, and then flip. If you start to flip before you release the bar, then, you'll start to flip towards the bar like this again. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Those are the common mistakes that I already went over. As far as learning how to do your flyaway, I don't necessarily have the tools available that I would like. One of them would be a bunch of eight inch mats that you can literally just swing up and drop onto. So I'm not gonna go into any jank ways to learn it on a bar. Just do it right the first time in the, in the gym or something because bars don't really exist outside anyway, so it doesn't matter. They don't exist in the wild. <laughs> Those are for your flyaways. Be safe. If you guys have any questions, comment them down below and I'm happy to answer them. If you guys need some help with your flyaways, you can send it to our Instagram, which is at The Collective Movements and just send it to there and we, we always respond and we always help. We're totally happy to help. We just wanna make sure you guys are training safely and training correctly. So make sure you do that. Also check the link in the description down below. There are some other videos that I think will be helpful for you guys to learning your flyaways, such as your backflips or some other cool videos like training videos. So those are also really cool. So make sure you check the link in the description down below and don't forget to like, comment, hit the bell notification and subscribe if you haven't already because we are trying to hit 250 subs by the end of the year and we would greatly appreciate you guys helping us out and reaching our goal. So I hope this helped. Happy training and happy Saturday. You remember that video that you filmed? My double flyaways? I'm gonna send that to Rudy and see if he just put that in there. Disgusted by your tutorial right now. Why? Arch. Hollow arch? arch. Oh, I said it backwards, didn't I? Okay, did you did you say it backwards? I think I said it backwards.